Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about implications. Okay, so the statements, the statements with if and then are very common in maths, are very common in maths or you can say mathematics so let's say if uh, I'm giving you one example if you are born in some country then you are a citizen of that country so when we look at this statement we observe that it is correspond to two statements you are born in some country and other is you are citizen of that country then the statement if P then Q says that if in the event so let me write one example here is if a number is a multiple of 9 if a number is a multiple of 9 then it is a multiple of 3 it is a multiple of 3 so now I can say P a number is a multiple of 9 Q is a number is multiple of 3 ok so I can say that P implies Q and is denoted by P implies Q the symbol this stand for implies they say that the number is, if the number is a multiple of 9 this implies that it is a multiple of 3 also so P is a sufficient condition of Q P only if Q and Q is a necessary condition for P So we can say that student if a number is not a multiple of 3 then it is not a multiple of 9. So this sign before 3 uh, implies but this means is this is a not if a number is not a multiple of 3 because q is before it is a 3 if number is not a multiple of 3 it implies or you can say then it is it implies it is not a multiple of 9 so this is the state ok so uh, let, let us do one question on that so student here is the question which states that we need to write the converse so for converse we need to use this sign I have as I have told you so uh, we need to use the converse the converse of this is if a number a square or you can say n square is even then n is even means we need to reverse the order of the sequences so this is how we can write the converse ok students so this is all about the implications ok and in the next lecture students we will discuss about validating statements so stay tuned for next lecture on validating the statements thank you happy learning